Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. I hope you're having a great day. As we're getting started here, I just wanted to give a quick reminder for you guys to please like this video. Make sure you leave me a comment and definitely subscribe if you want to see more. But either way, I hope you guys enjoy watching me play Red Dead Redemption for the first time. All right, let's see what you got, Bonnie. What are we going to be doing in the middle of the night? The burning. Excuse me, Mr. Marston. Have you seen my father anywhere? Uh-oh. No. He went out this morning to ride the land and was supposed to be back hours ago. I don't know. The ranch hands have been out looking, but so far they've found nothing. Well, come on. Let's go look for him. Thank you, Mr. Marston. I'm sure it's nothing, but I worry about the old fool. This. It's not like him to be away for so long. Don't worry. We'll find him. He's not as young as he used to be. What if he's hurt himself? Your father can still handle himself just fine, Miss McFarland. He's built like an oak. You're probably right, but I can't help worrying. He's all I've got. Yeah, that's true Don't back you in these days. Or sisters, Miss McFarland? I had six brothers, but five of them died, either from sickness or foolish choices. And the other one? He left for the east and never came back. Must be getting on for 10 years ago now. He's mm. a high and mighty banker in New York, according to his last letter. He should be here helping you and your pa. I don't want his help. He can live his life any way he wants. That's but when true I see too. those city fellers coming in on the railway, all dressed up like a sore toe, I fear a little for his soul. He switched his saddle for a tie, and that's fine. I just never met a man in a tie I could trust. Oh, wow. Nice. Wrestlers, I guess. Maybe the Baller twins, that bunch. Now you head back to the ranch right now and fetch your wagon. Yes, sir. Marston, you watch after her. Uh -oh. I'll do that, sir. It's a bad idea to split up right now. Let's stay go. with me. Please stay close. Where are you? What could have happened to those poor men? Stay with me. I've got a bad feeling about this. I think we should get back there. Oh, I'm right you here. Like Gee, she's got a mouth on her. Right and she's bossy, too. Your boss seemed to have an idea who it was. Let's just do what he says and get the wagon. Come on. Those damn rustlers. I've got a good mind to head over to Pike's Basin myself. I, don't think I already killed all idea. those people. What are you talking about? No better. How many men have you killed? Ooh. Do you really want to know? You know wow. The men I, kill. I heard the way you look, Mr. Marston. The barn is on fire. Oh, dang. Hey. Yeah. Come on. Come on. We can't get through the doors. It's too uh. dangerous. Move. Get up. Get up. Okay, so I need to, uh, you want me to jump in this window or what? Oh, I'm on fire! <laughs> um, hang on. Come around this way. Go! Go, John! What are you doing? This way?
All right. Whoa, 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 son of a gun, John. After all that, you were on fire. Now you're just being stupid. I don't know which way it wants me to go into the barn. I thought it wanted me to go in through the window, but I guess not. It wants me to go around. Yeah, here we go. All right. Um... Ooh. All right, that's one way to do it. We did it! Now get the horses out! Smooth. No mistakes at all. It did that perfectly. Bonnie. Go. Come on, bud. You too. Oh no! Now what are we gonna do? All right. Oh, he just wants me to take it over here. I was actually gonna put it in the pin. All right. Bonnie, if I wasn't here, man, your whole ranch would be gone by now. You sure know how to handle yourself. Thanks, Marston. Yes, John, thanks. You, well, you saved the ranch. If Again. You'll excuse me, I, I've got chores to attend to. <laughs> yeah, the barn just burnt down, but you go do your chores. Sincerely, John. Thank you. Well, did all I could, Miss McFarland. Sorry about all the damage. That gang seems to really want you out of here. Yeah, well. I thought I killed My those guys. Fought Indians. I scarcely think we're going to be frightened by some white trash. White trash Ooh. can be pretty frightening. Well, they don't frighten me. Good. John, my family owes you a great debt. I think you got enough debt. You saved my life. All I ask of you is this. If I get back home and get my farm started back up, you'll sell me some cattle. I prefer doing business with people I know. Of course, Mr. Marston. It'd be my pleasure. Um, well, you get some rest. I've got to go see how my father's bearing up. Yeah, you never did take him that wagon he wanted. Sometimes I like her, sometimes she gets on my nerves. All right. Let's actually go back into town now. Not you, puppy. I wanted my horse. <laughs> but you're a good boy, though. <laughs> I forget that when you whistle, the dog comes. All right. Quit calling me a chicken headed guy. All right. Let's. Let's got some horses. I also forget what um, plants and animals I'm looking for. I think I still need to find some coyotes. There they go again. You're on your own this time, Bonnie.
treasure map. I think I already did everything on this, right? Let's see. Is this still the hanging tree? Oh, this is a different one. Rio del Lobo. I had no idea that I had another another uh, treasure map. Okay. Um, I don't even know that we have found the Rio del Lobo location yet, have we? Let me see here. What's this? California. Train. I mean, there's Rio Bravo. I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, maybe zoom in a little bit more. Pikes Basin, Tall Trees, Great Plains, Thieves Landing. Perdido. Mm, I don't know. I really don't know. Is this a stranger? I do want to find him. Stagecoach. There's another stranger. Oh, that's the American Appetites. I never really finished that, did I? Okay. Seth's out that way, too. All right, we'll, we'll keep looking around, and if we find that um, location, if we get close to it, then we can... See if we can find it. Newspaper, I think I already read this. I probably should, uh, like, I probably should sell these things after I've already read them. But I don't know that I can. All right, let's go into town and see what we got to do over there. Go to Got a lot more options this time. I think I want to go to Armadillo. Armadillo, here we come. My finger fillet is not open yet. Go see the doctor. I don't know that I need to see the doctor, do I? I really want to. Good morning. I really wanted to play. Uh, those those other mini games. Hang on here. Uh oh. So we'll probably finish the American Appetites by finding whoever it was that killed that uh, little boy, right? That's the marshal's mission. We just dancing in the street. Come on. <laughs> Hello. Alright, um, so should we do Seth, the marshal, or... Mr. West Dickens. Let's do the Marshall. I don't want to run into this guy. Hey, Bonnie McFarlane, what? All right, but it's got to be something to do with that government boy. We'll talk to him, find out what he knows. Where is she, Marston? Who? What? Who? My daughter, you scum. Where's Bonnie? What? I don't know. I haven't seen her since after the fire. Why? Why? Because she hadn't been seen since yesterday afternoon. You know, I don't think I can cope. If I lose another child... Now, Drew, nobody's lost anything yet. I'm sure she's fine. Oh, Mr. Marshall! Mr. Marshall! Come out, come out, wherever oh, you are! Oh, no. What's that? Hey, buddy! <laughs> that be your next mayor. 
Even better. Good day, Mr. McFarlane. Get down from that horse, boy, or I'll shoot. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend that, mister. Not if Drew McFarlane wants to see his bunny back in one piece. Hey, Mr. McFarlane! There's a nice girl you got there. I'm gonna kill you. Get down from there! You know, part of me's got to thinking I should just marry her myself. Give her a baby and that. What do you want? That's better. I want Norman Deke. Mm. I want him set free. Then you'll get your daughter back, mister. We don't do deals with outlaws, boy. Yeah, you do! Let's not waste each other's time pretending otherwise. Oh, government themselves ain't much more than a bunch of crooks. This is the land of opportunity, mister. And I'm giving you the opportunity to get your daughter back before 15 friends of mine take out all their anger and their loneliness on her. Where the hell is she? Where is she, boy? Bring Deke up to Tumbleweed in a couple hours. And don't get no funny ideas, or I will slit that throat myself. You boys have a pleasant afternoon. Yeah! I'm gonna kill you. What do we do? We do as he says. You and me, Marshal. Mr. McFarlane, I'll get you your daughter back. I owe her that. Please do. Oh, now you want to be friends. some respect for the law. Hurry up, boy. Let's go. Quick as you can, deputy. Make sure he's tied on good. Stay with me, Marston. I won't let anything happen to her, sir. Well, I wasn't expecting this. Right. Let's go get Miss McFarland back. Let's go. See, this is what happens when the Federals interfere in our affairs. Are you happy now? No, I ain't happy at all. It's got but nothing to do with me. You, I ain't with the government. Now you say that, John, but the only thing I know for sure is who sent you. They made me come here. They gave me no choice. That's your federal government, Mr. Johnson. They come down here dressed as cocky as the King of Diamonds, talking a lot of flannel about helping us, about spreading peace and civilization to the West, but they brought nothing but trouble and taxes. I agree with you. Wolves in sheep clothing, all of them. Rob you, then make you pay to have someone investigate the crime on your behalf. People around here have been fooled into feeling protected when they're worse off than they were before. The fellas I know don't care about people. All they care about is lining their pockets. Why is this sorry son of a so important to them? Norman Deke Williamson, right hand man. In other words, Glorified errand you boy. Wait, Marshal. I'll be back for you. Bill's standards have slipped. We already filled you with lead once, you ugly. You're the kind of man who's mean enough to be second in command, but too cowardly and stupid to ever be a leader. <laughs> Don't ever use that line near your deputies. You know, for his sake, they'd best not have laid a finger on Miss McFarland. What is this place we're headed? Tumbleweed? A lonely, godforsaken place. Some people say it's haunted. It was quite a town back in its day. Then they built the railroad to Armadillo and went clean past Tumbleweed, and that was that. Pretty soon, everybody had up and left. Now it's just thieves, smugglers, and bandits. Scum like Deke here. Oh, popular spot for lynchings, too. Let's try to avoid that if we can, Marshal. Yeah. I just hope you're not taking advantage of the McFarland, Marston. They saved oh, my on. life. Gave me food and bed when they had no idea who I was. I owe them more than I can ever repay. That's just they've been through a lot. Well, they're both vulnerable in different ways. I wouldn't have been running in and out of a burning barn to save their horses otherwise. Oh, I know you helped, just like you helped me. But you got your reasons for doing it. It's no secret why I'm here, Marshal. I told you the very first time I walked into your office. I trust you. It's just all this business with Blackwater and Williamson in the past. I don't know. Sometimes it's hard not to have doubts. I understand. I never planned to be in the lawman business, neither. How is this mess supposed to turn out? Sending an outlaw to do the work of a lawman. That's madness. Ain't much difference between the two, as far as I can tell. There have to be rules, Marston. Even <laughs> yeah. you must understand that. That's it's true. easy to make up rules. 
But there ain't much use if people don't understand why. Like my son. If I tell him not to do something, he'll do it anyways, just to spite me. If I punish him, he resents me for it. But if I show him why it's wrong, at least he has reason not to do it again. That's nonsense. Without laws, we're nothing more than animals. You look at Deke here. He's worked hard at civilization. Your boy steps out of line, you whack him. He does it again, whack him harder. You're a good man, Marshal. And I respect what you're trying to do. But what I've seen since I've arrived here, the law ain't really working. Criminals are like weeds, Marston. Quick as you stomp one out, another one sprouts up in its place. It's the mm. nature of places. You know that as well as I do. Stop burn so hard, you son of a... It's burn harder. I hope that it's water, I ain't had my turn. I'm gonna kill you too. It's a trap. Easy there. John, you'll be exchanging the prisoner for Bonnie in the middle of town. Keep your eyes open. I sincerely doubt these scum plan to play fair. Fair mind. You bet. Besides, Norm here is going to be my shield, ain't you, Norm? <laughs> It'd be my pleasure. Marston, lead Deke into town. Make sure you keep a gun on that son of a bitch. I'm sure it's been nice for the boys to have a whore to play with. I hear those rancher girls like it. I just shoot Maybe him. she won't want to go home. She's been so good. Get these ropes off me, boys! We're shot from behind because I wasn't paying attention to back there. Where's Bonnie? I thought we had a deal. Well, you thought wrong. so far ahead this time let me see uh, if I can switch to my long gun here Come on. I just used on my dead eye. Where is she? Oh, 
All right, she's at least alive. I need a, uh, how do I refill my uh, dead eye? I also need some medicine. What happened? One in the window. I'll get Bonnie. Wow. Shot that rope a lot closer to her throat than I did. Okay? I shot it much higher up. I'm fine now, Mr. Marston. Thank you. Thank you. She's been through it. What the hell took you so long, you stupid man? Well, you weren't exactly helping me. <laughs> if you think I'm going to lower myself by making a joke about being all tied up... You got another thing coming. Come on. <coughs> Yikes. I don't like this mission. At least Norman's dead. I thought there was something in here. Must be outside. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Don't see him. Yeah, I don't know. Unless he's, uh, Underneath the house somewhere. There's nothing out here to loot. All right, which way did we come in? I don't know. Come here, horse. All right. Let's go. Hello. Hello. Did I need to find some stuff in Tumbleweed? I don't even remember. Oh. Well, make a campsite here. We'll do a save. If you enjoyed the video, please like the video. If you want to see more content like this, feel free to subscribe and be sure to turn on notifications so you never miss an upload. As always, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.